Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so we're talking about kitchen design and when we're doing that there are certain things, although there are not really furniture as such, it's not like with the furniture in the living room assignment where I had you guys like cut them out and then kind of move them around, but you, there are certain standard sizes that things come in. Um, you can you know, this is a dream home, not a lowered expectations home. So if you want to have a super expensive custom design fridge, you can. Uh, one of the things that I dream about is you can actually get drawers. And I'll just draw them for you because I just think it's so cool. So like, let's say this is my island in my kitchen, right? So my island would be about yay big. I'm going to have it tall. Most, most countertop heights are 36 inches including the countertop all right so that's maybe a little high so 36 inches but yeah it's about right three feet right it'd be 36 inches because you divide by 12 anyway so say this is sort of like my island and I'm gonna say that this is an Eden Island where it's got like you know you can pull up a stool here okay so that part is going to have I'm going to put things in it and one of the cooler things that I've seen that you can put in is you could put a drawer in and you could put another drawer in this island that like pull out and <laughs> the drawers could actually be like a fridge or a freezer like it's just it's just nuts you could you could have that so you can have like a fridge or a freezer drawer so instead of having in a traditional kitchen you've got uh, you know your countertop say is yay high 36 inches they're usually two but I'm just this is just a visual reference so most countertops are uh, most countertops are 24 inches deep plus a little bit so like 25 inches with a bit of an overhang depending on the thing so say this is like your standard countertop that would be here and uh, your base cabinets so your base cabinets are 24 inches this way okay and then the length of a the length of a countertop can be any any length you want you can you can design like really long countertops but most base cabinets are 24 inches so 24 inches are is two feet and two feet is two of these so you'd have a base cabinet here this is a very long countertop base cabinet standard base cabinet standard base cabinet like this would be a huge amount of storage just lovely now base cabinets can include drawers so you know I can have this one have drawers uh, this one can be like cupboard doors that open right uh, this one can also have drawers and then you know your kitchen starts looking like a kitchen so all of these are 24 inches because that's two feet right so two by two by two here's the thing it's so cool if I have a regular fridge and I'll just do it in pencil if I have a regular fridge the thing about regular fridges is most of them are not 24 inches deep most of them are 30 inches deep, so a regular fridge is going to stick out from that countertop. Um, unless you buy a 30 inch one and then it won't stick out as much. But most fridges stick out. So if this is the back wall and a fridge is 3 feet wide, a standard fridge is 3 feet wide. So again, I'm counting 1, 2, what? One, two 3. That's how wide a fridge would be. Okay, This is the, the dimensions of a fridge. And it's going to stick out. It's going to stick out quite a bit. Now, when I do my little sketch, that means that my fridge, I'm just going to take a line here, my fridge is actually going to stick out. Okay, it's going to be about yay high, and it's going to take up like a really, truly stupid amount of space. Now, this is an issue because you really want to have... You really want to have like smoothness and symmetry as well as practicality. So if this is my fridge and let's say it opens here, it's just this big huge box. Most people this is what you'll see in most 
home. So you'll have a big fridge like this. And then in this in these base cabinets, you can also fit in the space of these two, say you wanted a dishwasher, well that would take up this much space in there. So now we've got a dishwasher coming through. Well, if you're going to have a dishwasher, it should probably be right next to or underneath, not really underneath, but next to a sink, right? So then I'm going to have a sink in here with like little faucets, handles, and it starts, it starts, sorry, I just realized, it starts looking like a kitchen. Ugh, this is stupid.